Hey everybody, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do 3D graphics with um, the red and the blue channels. So the first thing that you need is obviously the red and the blue glasses. You can get these for pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, that's where I got mine and they're good quality too, so um, no problems with that. Um, so the I guess the purpose of having a, a 3D graphic was, is to get the depth of the field a lot better um, than you would get in a regular rendering. Um, just kind of animate the space a little more um, to see the full depth of field. So, um, And we're using Photoshop to do this. So first thing you do is input your import your rendering. Um, in, the, in the Photoshop and duplicate your layer and so what you're gonna do is make one channel red and one channel blue so you do that by double click clicking this box over here in your layers menu on one of those and you have the channel options here so you wanna uncheck one of those and press OK and then go up to the next one, double click it, and then uncheck the other ones. So you're going to uncheck the green and the blue in order to get um, the red checked, and then vice versa on the, the other one, which we already made. So now that we have our red and our blue channel, all that we need to do is skew the rendering. So this portion over here goes back into space and this comes out of the screen. And so to do that we're just going to shift the rendering. So if I were to shift one image over you see that the colors start to emerge. Um, so this right now let me see is actually I think it's bringing it out if you're if you actually have your glasses you can begin to see it going back into space right now so that means if the blue is on the left it's going back if the red is um, or if the blue is on the right then it's um, forward so bring this back to the original position and all that we're going to do in order to get this portion backward is press control T and just make sure you have only one of the um, images selected control T to get your transform tool right click distort and we're just going to stretch it out on the right side Actually, I have those layers flip-flopped there we go um, yeah so you just kind of have to play around to make sure you're going backwards instead of forward um, so I selected my other layer and went to the distort and starting to stretch it out so now if you have your glasses on, you'll see that the right side is now back in the screen. And if I were to pull on this side, now it's starting to come out on, over here on this side. So just play around with those until it looks right. And then you can also, um, to get a little more detailed, you could go to skew and just kind of clean it up or sorry warp not skew I think skew is similar to sort I'm not really sure the difference between those two um, but warp you can actually change this surface instead of just the control points on the outside so just kind of get it a little more detailed and make it um, pop out and <clears throat> sometimes another thing that I do to really emphasize the depth is blur out the back so there's the blur tool over here it's kind of like a um, like a raindrop or something and just kind of brush out the back end over here to make it look like it's fading so that was one layer then go to the next layer and blur that out as well so now you'll see that it it actually does look pretty realistic and if you pile things on to each other, like if to say I were to put a person right here um, and make him come out of the screen, I could create another layer between 
this rendering here in the person and make like a shadow behind the person to make him pop out a lot more. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty simple trick. All you have to do is just double click the box and change the layer, um, the channel of that layer. So um, yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to do any other tutorials. So thanks for watching.